7th grade unit 1 lesson 5 the size of the scale factor number 1 rectangles p q r and s are scale copies of one another for each pair decide if the scale factor from one to the other is greater than 1 equal to 1 or less than 1 a from p to q the scale factor is greater than 1. Q is a larger scaled copy than P. B from P to R. The scale factor is also greater than 1. R is a larger scaled copy than P. C from Q to S. The scale factor is less than 1. S is a smaller scaled copy than Q. D from Q to R. The scale factor is greater than 1. R is a larger scaled copy than Q. E from S to P. This scale factor is equal to 1. P is the same size scale copy as S. F from R to P. This scale factor is less than 1. P is a smaller scaled copy of R. And finally G from P to S. This scale factor is equal to 1. S is the same size scale copy of P. Number 2. Triangle S and Triangle L are scaled copies of one another. A. What is the scale factor from S to L? Going from S to L, the base was originally 2 and became 4, so the base doubled or multiplied by 2, and the height was originally 4 and became 8, so it also doubled. The scale factor from S to L is 2. B. What is the scale factor from L to S? Going from L to S, the base was 4 and became 2, and 2 is half of 4. The height was 8 and became 4, and 4 is half of 8. The scale factor from L to S is 1 half. C. Triangle M is also a scaled copy of S. The scale factor from S to M is 3 halves. What is the scale factor from M to S? The scale factor from M to S is 2 thirds. The scale factors are reciprocals of each other. For example, 3 halves times 2 thirds equals 1. That means that 2 thirds is the reciprocal of 3 halves. When you multiply a number by its reciprocal, the product is always 1. Number 3. Are two squares with the same side lengths scaled copies of one another? Explain your reasoning. Yes, the scale factor is 1. If the side lengths of two squares are the same lengths, then the squares would have the same dimensions and are scaled copies of one another. Number 4. Quadrilateral A has side lengths 2, 3, 5, and 6. Quadrilateral B has side lengths 4, 5, 8, and 10. Could one of the quadrilaterals be a scaled copy of the other? Explain. No. Numbers 2, 3, 5, and 6 can't be multiplied by the same number to become 4, 5, 8, and 10. For example, the side length 2 in red can be multiplied by 2 to become side length 4 in purple. So that would be a scale factor of 2. But if we continued with the scale factor of 2 and tried to multiply the 3 that's red, 3 times 2 would equal 6 and not the side length 5 in purple. Try it on the next one. Side length 5 in red times 2 would equal 10. 
and not the side length 8 in purple. And then side length 6 in red times 2 would equal 12 and not the side length 10 in purple. Number 5. Select all the ratios that are equivalent to ratio 12 to 3. Explain how you know. C. A 4 to 1 ratio. D. 24 to 6 ratio. And F. 1200 to 300 ratio. For C, both 4 and 1 can be multiplied by 3 to become 12 and 3. So a 4 to 1 ratio is equivalent to a 4 to 3 ratio. For D, both 24 and 6 can be divided by 2 to become 12 and 3. So a ratio of 24 to 6 is equivalent to a ratio of 12 to 3. For F, both 1,200 and 300 can be divided by 100 to become 12 and 3. So a 1,200 to 300 ratio is equivalent to a 12 to 3 ratio.